Hello and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Now today we've got massive, massive news and that is that Matt Hancock has officially resigned as the Secretary for Health and Social Care and as recent as a couple of minutes ago, I can see here on my laptop, he's now being replaced by Sajid Javid. Now this comes after yesterday's breaking news of him, you know, having an affair, he got caught cheating, but most importantly, he demonstrated hypocrisy by going against his own social distancing guidelines that came out of his department. But in this video, we're going to be looking into where whether or not this is enough. Is it enough for someone like him to apologize, leave government and we just get on with it and we move on? Now obviously yesterday's news was huge and that's because it was a triple whammy for Matt Hancock. It was a massive hit in three different directions for, for him. Now number one he got caught cheating having an affair. That's a hit to his personal life. He also got caught breaking social distancing guidelines going against everything that his department was coming out with. Number three he has now officially been become the epitome, the perfect example of systemic problems that this government has been accused of and that mostly is Croyanism and the fact that there's been dodgy contracts and one rule for them, another rule for us. He has become the example of that. So that's three hits for Matt Hancock and three is the magic number that made Matt Hancock officially end his career in cabinet and has now re resigned. Now when you look into Matt Hancock the person, you only need to turn to the Queen to get an understanding of who he is. Now a couple of days ago when the Queen spoke to the Boris Johnson about Matt Hancock, she referred to him as poor man. So that speaks enough you know if you've got the, the queen speaking about him in such a negative light it just goes to show you've got boris johnson his boss basically referring to him as hopeless this came out after text from dominic cummings that got leaked and then you've got dominic cummings who a month ago basically said that he should have been sacked for 15 20 different reasons basically calling him useless. Then obviously you've got the fact that Matt Hancock has you know been alleged for having dodgy contracts being sent out to family and friends. You know he's also been alleged for screwing up track and trace, something that came out of his department. He also got alleged for screwing up PPE and messing up with that during the peak of the pandemic. And now you've got the fact that he has cheated on his wife and he's broken guidelines. That is a summary of Matt Hancock, not just from the Queen, not just from Boris Johnson, not just from Dominic Cummings, but also just looking at his history. This is the type of character that we're talking about. Now quickly touching on his affair. Now the Times are reporting that Matt Hancock and his wife's marriage is over and that Matt Hancock and his new lover, the one that he cheated on with, is likely to set up a home with him and they're going to continue living their life together. Now both of them had as much to lose, they were both in the same position which disgustingly makes them perfect for one another. They both had an affair, they both have three children, they're both clearly fond of each other, fond of each other enough to give up the respect of their children and their partners. Now from this whole story there are so many questions that come out of it. Number one, is it enough? Number two, why did Boris Johnson keep him for so long? When you've got Dominic Cummings saying that he should she should have resigned for 15, 20 different reasons, clearly Boris Johnson would have been aware of these reasons. Why did Boris Johnson, hold, Boris Johnson hold on to him for so long? Why are people like him and Dominic Cummings allowed to just you know apologize and get away with it basically? Why did these people get into such high positions? What is wrong with our current system that allows people to just go up the scale and take on such senior positions, positions that affect the entire country, that affect millions and millions of lives? Why do people like them get into those positions? There are also more fundamental questions that need to be answered, like whether or not the public will ever comply to the government. Again, if the Delta variant gets worse, God forbid, but we go into another lockdown, will the public comply? Will the public listen to the government? Now, you've got to think, if Matt Hancock, the health secretary, was able to do this and pretty much get away with it, basically just apologising, leaving, and not truly being held accountable, it seems as though there's a culture of this. There's a culture of do what you like, get away with it and if you can't someone else will. You had the Dominic Cummings scandal last year, you had Dyson, the guy that makes the vacuum cleaners, he was contacting and texting the Prime Minister to avoid paying tax. You had questions this year about the Prime Minister's refurbishment and how he was using taxpayers money and then obviously now you have this where Matt Hancock the health secretary was going against his own guidelines now all of which screams out one rule for them, another rule for us. And that ladies and gentlemen is privilege. Now on that note, we're gonna end this video. 
Now, let me know in the comments below what you think of this whole scandal. Do you think that the public is just over exaggerating? Do you think the media is exaggerating? Matt Hancock, at the end of the day, is a human being. He has his personal life. Not everyone is going to stick to everything that the government comes out with. Or do you think that he's coming out with this information? He needs to stick to himself. He's in such a senior position. It can't be one rule for them, another rule for us. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think about Sajid Javid? Do you think he's the right person? Or should it have been the vaccine minister? If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and peace.